Good evening, fellow biologists. Amylase is defined as a digestive enzyme classified as a saccharides. This was defined by Indo Gulf Group. Its main objective is to break down long chain carbohydrates into smaller units by hydrolyzing. In other words, it simply breaks down starches and food to be used by the body. Specifically in the process of brewing, the amylase catalyzes the hydrolysis of certain polysaccharides to yield sugars like dextrins, maltose, and even glucose. The amylase that is used in brewing allows the grain to be full of starch and enzymes once it gains grains, specifically barley, have been melted and roasted. Once the grain is drilled, the amylase will be in effect as a grain is dry. So it is vital that when the denaturization steps in progress. The appliance of heat must not be too hot because if so, the amylase could react too quickly and become denatured. In the next step, the amylase helps break down proteins and starches that can make up fermentable sugars that are used by yeast in the fermentation process. This is called mashing. Um, the two main diastatic enzymes in mashing, alpha amylase and beta amylase, convert the starch into fermentable and unfermentable sugars. Uh, glucose, maltose, maltriose, and dextrins are the products of this reaction. The alpha amylase divides the long starches until the glucose molecules are not fermentable by the yeast in a process called li liquefaction. The beta amylase, on the other hand, allows the starch to connect to one another in chains making them fermentable through a process called saccharification. A major factor leading up to the final brewing process is the temperature that alpha amylase works at. For the denaturing process, the temperature required for alpha amylase to denature is 67 degrees Celsius and will take about 40 minutes to an hour for the process to reach completion. Now the match that appears as a result of everything has an optimum pH of 5.2 when water is added to it. To determine how thick the mash really is, a ratio is determined between the water and the mash to see how much water needs to be removed. Alpha amylase activity can be promoted by thinner mash. Now lower temperatures with a longer mash time can create a brew with a higher alcohol content. While at higher temperatures, the mash, the, the mash time is shorter and results in a higher production of dextrins that are less, less fermentable by yeast. This can, make the, this can make a brew that is heavy bodied with less alcohol due to enzymes denaturing much quicker.